Now, I don't want to take much of your time. Let's switch into action. I want us to watch the screen of the television. Let's watch the screen of the television and see what happened. <clears throat> what happened, uh, I think, is it Friday first? Okay, let's see what happened on Friday during the Conference of Believers VG. Yes, let's watch the screen. Just to appreciate God. You know, when you appreciate him for what he has done, he will do more. We want him to do more today. So therefore, we have to appreciate him by giving thanks to him. So let us watch. While we were rejoicing, I can see a woman sitting down and watching. <clears throat> She could not dance. She was just looking. And God said, ah. Quickly stop the music because I want to descend the glory of Apostle Paul. So that this woman I'm looking at. Camera pick her. Sit down. This woman I'm looking at. Have you seen her? Have you seen her? Have you seen her? She, she could not dance. Everybody was jumping up and down because we want God to descend the glory of Apostle Paul. God said, before he can descend that glory, we must rejoice like King David to appreciate him. God does not need your money. He only needs your praises and worship. We want the glory of Apostle Paul to come on this handkerchief. That is why we have proven to him that we are happy that he has taken us out of darkness into shining light. So right now, right now, while you are standing, let us see how the glory of Apostle Paul will come down now. No, no, you, 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 come. Yes. Can you go to that woman? Do you believe that your handkerchief is now Apostle Paul's handkerchief? Do you believe that this, this handkerchief is Apostle Paul's handkerchief? Yes. You believe it's Apostle Paul's handkerchief? Yes. You believe the glory of Apostle Paul has descended on it? Yes. The glory of Apostle Paul has descended on it? You believe that? Hey! You can see. Can you ask her to stand up in the name of Stand up and go. Come on, man, follow her. Tell, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here, look here. Take your handkerchief, go and meet that woman. Say, in the name of the God of Apostle Paul, I descend the glory of Apostle Paul on your neck. You touch her neck. I descend the glory of Apostle Paul on your neck, on your body, on your body. Ask her to remove the collar after praying. Right, go, follow her. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch. You ask all about the world, watch. For you to know that this handkerchief is not going to yours. Give the mic. In the name of God, of Apostle Paul, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus by the God of Apostle Paul. Be healed. The glory has gone to her. You can see her now. Look at her, look at her, look at her. The glory has touched her now. The glory has touched her. Oh yeah, command her, command her to rise up and shake her neck. Remove the neck collar. Come on. Of Apostle Paul. But the power in the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I command you, rise up. Rise up. In the, in the Remove the collar. Remove the collar. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to God Almighty. That's an instant healing. You can see the neck problem is over. Through the glory and the alkyl of Apostle Paul that the saint is in our midst. Thank you, Jesus. You can see the excitement on the face of the glory of God. He has given me victory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen, hold on. This woman, while you were dancing, rejoicing like in David, dancing like a crazy man, yes, you're not crazy. It's because you know, weeping has gone. Money has come. Darkness has gone. Shining light has come. While we were busy rejoicing, she was sitting down like this. God took my attention to her. God said, if you don't stop this music, I will get angry at you. Look at this woman. Everybody is dancing, but she's not dancing. Allow me to descend the glory of Apostle Paul on this handkerchief. This means that anywhere you go, if I were you, mark this handkerchief. Let 
it be different from other handkerchief. If you have any sick person on the sick bed, just go there. I, you mention your name. I, wise man Daniel, I bring unto you the glory of Apostle Paul. Touch all the parts. I remove every sickness with the glory of Apostle Paul. Ask the person to rise and walk and see what will happen. This woman was sitting there helpless. Let's hear from her. Elohim, Elohim, good morning and win today. My name is Takanan Mahaha. I had the problem brought me here. It was a generative disc, which is a dislocation of, of disc and the spine, which the doctor says the solution is operation. So I couldn't turn my neck. I can do not use this, this right hand right hand on my, on at my home in the mighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today I am healed. I am healed. I'm happy. Thank you, man of God. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from South Africa. Can you, what can you say about those things you were using before? For supporting, for supporting my neck. Now, do you still need them? No, no, I don't want it anymore. Okay, can you exercise yourself? I don't want it anymore. You can now. see her excited. How do you feel now? Thank you, Jesus. Okay, now, I want you to be partaker of that glorious dance that will go to heal you. Now it's time for you to rejoice. Can we hear a wonderful song from you? Let her dance. He has given me victory. Almighty God has given me victory. Come on, come on. He has given me victory. The days of my life, I says, Yes, you love me, don't you? You get me the baba. All my days of my life, I praise you. Yes, you love me so much, and you get to die for me. Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nishi. Wow. 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 <laughs> you can see our sister? Wow. I hope, I hope, I hope you have your hanky. Let me see your hanky. Do you have it? Ah. For you to know, it's a pity I'm putting on gown. Huh? I have to open it. <laughs> and deep inside the pocket to bring out my own. Uh. For you to know that uh, it's a serious issue. See? There is no place I will go, I will not carry it along. See? Because I know it's different from any other hanky. If you search me now, you don't find any other hanky, just these two. Because I know what God has put on it. The only thing I can deny you, if you go home and nothing happens, when you use it to pray, nothing happens. Know for sure that you have dipped your hand into something against the will of God. If you just go like this, keep practicing the new love of Jesus Christ to your neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself. Don't commit any bad thing. Ha! This two hanky, or what if this one you have or two, will raise the dead. Okay, let's hear from her. Elohim, Elohim, good morning and win today. Amen. Uh, the problem that my name is Takarani Namahaha. I'm from South Africa. 
The problem that brought me here, it was de degenerative disc, which affected also my right hand. And also, I can't, I can't perform my duties at, 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 at home as a wife. And also, I stopped at work I, because I can't perform my job. And then this, 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 this degenerative disc it started in 2017 as a pain. Then it gets worse when I was involved in a car accident, which the doctor says uh, the sol there's no other solution. The solution is operation. So I told them that, wait, I'll, I'll come back to you. I decided to come here. And then when I, get, I, when I was in, in, in the plane coming here with others, I was feeling a terrible, terrible pain, which I can't even sleep. So I came, I came at night vigil on Friday. I was sitting down. I was feeling a pain. I was feeling pain which I cannot cope. Because I cannot cope. Then a man of God noticed me. And then he asked one of the visitors to come forth so that he can exercise faith through handkerchief upon me. Then the visitor came to me and put the, that uh, handkerchief on my neck and start to pray. Then I started to be strong. That pain disappear. I feel strong and that pain disappear. And then that, and that night I slept like a baby. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. What do you want to do with this now? No, I don't want it anymore. I don't want it anymore. Okay. Okay, let's hear from our sister here that was used. Hello, him. Okay. My name is Nazgul. I came from uh, Kyrgyzstan as a visitor for a conference of Believer's Vigil. So that day on Friday, uh, when um, Weissman Daniel told, uh, just, he called me. I saw that he's calling another wom wom uh, woman behind me, then he said, yes, you are. So I took this handkerchief and I came to him when he asked, do you believe that the glory of Apostle Paul on this, on this handkerchief I felt this glory, I just fall down. As you see me on this screen, <laughs> I couldn't stand it there, Okay, you know. now, I want you to tell the whole world, what do you want to do with this hanky now? With this hanky, I will pray for um, yeah, healing, deliverance. So I will uh, pray uh, to heal people and show genuine love to my yes. neighbor. Yes, for this hanky to work for you, you must show genuine love to your neighbor. That's the only way you can maintain the glory of Apostle Paul on it. So, madam, it looks like this thing is too close to you. Can you pick it and throw it far? We don't want it to be close to you. Pick it and throw it far. <coughs> and throw it far, far. Go away. <laughs> yes. Now, can you exercise yourself? Wow. Exercise yourself. Your neck. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Finally, what word of advice do you have for all? Uh, the final advice I can give you, Saint, don't give up on God. Do not give up. And when, the, when you are going through situation, don't run from God. Run to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. 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 You heard it all? Don't run from God. Run to Him. Why? The question is why? Why must you not run from God, run to Him? Because if you run away from God, there will be no genuine love to carry on with your life. The genuine love is like a shield against the arrow of Satan. Against the arrow of Satan. When you have that genuine love, when he shoots you, it will fall. It will not penetrate. So that's why she's advising you, don't run from God. Run to him. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Can we have one more? Lorsqu'on était, lorsqu était en train de danser, Let us watch the screen. Lorsqu'on était en train de danser ce vendredi, cette femme était assise dans la congrégation. Elle est venue avec le problème de dé dégénérance discale qui a affecté sa main droite. Elle ne pouvait pas bouger son cou et elle souffrait atrocement. La gloire d'apôtre Paul est descendue dans le mouchoir et maintenant elle ne ressent plus la douleur et elle est guérie pour la gloire de Dieu. Ok, let's watch the screen for another... L'homme de Dieu nous a dit que pour que le mouchoir fonctionne, vous devez avoir un amour sincère. Yes. No. The lady there has come. Ah, but I'm not deaf and dumb. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. I'm not deaf and dumb. Let me hear my voice. Yes. No. The lady there has come. This is two disappointments. Yes, sir. Two. Yes, sir. This one that was almost at the point of I want to marry you. <laughs> yes, sir. It was after you had a dream of a giant man sleeping with you. Yes, sir. That spirit can never allow you to have a statue to believe her. Jesus Christ. Hey! You wicked spirit. Come on. Hey! 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 You see the way he's jumping up? The very tall man. Hey! The match of Jesus Christ. You wicked spirits. Bow down to the name Jesus. Down! The match of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're free. Wow. Let's listen attentively. We have lots of lessons to learn. Tell us your name and what you have to say. Hello. Good morning, George. My name is Tala Tubako. I'm from Plateau State. I was opportunity to attend the service last week Sunday. So, mind of God. Call me out during the service that I have two disappointments. So I say yes. I give birth to two children, different, different fathers. So he said that they are having a spirit of a giant man. He now deliver me from the spirit. For the spirit of the German, since I was small, at the age of 14, I normally see that man. So I used to tell my father to that look at what I'm seeing always in my dream, sometimes physical. So my father and I used to look for a solution for me from other people to, to give me something to buy so that he said I'm having a spiritual problem. So when I grow up, that is I used to see this man always in my dream. I don't used to sleep and at night at all. I used to be in the river on the in the bush with the man always. So um 
After then, when my father died, I started looking for the solution by myself. I used to go to the people that used to collect the other medicine for me to use. But there is no avail. Every day, whenever I try it, that night I will not sleep well because of the giant mind. So since last week Sunday, I, I was opportunity to attend service. So man of God now deliver me from the spirit of a giant man. Now, <clears throat> maybe we'll try to help you. Can you tell us, then before you were delivered, what were the situations you were going through? How severe were those disappointments? What are the challenges you were facing? And uh, concerning these two disappointments you had, can you explain for that? Let people know. How was, how severe, when we say disappointment, it was just ordinary, it was not. You felt pain. Tell us how it happened. What normally happened? What this mutual husband, every time he meets you and you meet man, what happened? People want to learn. The two, the two children, I have the one at the age of 17. So the thing was as if I, heaven is going to fall in my village because I'm the first lady that I have pregnant. So the thing now become a problem to me. After at the age of 27 again, and I have the baby girl. And the giant man, whenever he comes to make love with me, any relationship that I have, the next day I will tell the person that I'm no longer interested on in the relationship. Or maybe you offend me small. I will make sure that I use something that will make, I will eat that person so that I will see blood on his body. He gave, he gave you anger. Spirit of anger. And anytime you get angry, you want to see blood. Yes, sir. But the female, my colleagues, that is how I used to treat me. And people like to come closer to me, but the next day when they saw me, my character will just Chase tear away. them away. I would like to stay alone. Okay. That is the spiritual husband for you. Very jealous. Doesn't want her to associate with any man. Anytime the spiritual husband meets her in the dream, she wakes up, she will hate men. She'll be full of anger. She wants to show that anger by piercing with sharp objects each time she's provoked. She must do something before she could be satisfied. Now, after your deliverance, that last Sunday, how has been your dream? How has been your character towards people? Yes, my character was good, and I sleep well. No more dreaming of seeing myself in the sea or bush, or snake is push, pushing me up and down, or I will be with a madman inside bush. I'm sleeping well now. Best clap for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> yes. Now, give advice. What advice do you have for all who are listening to you? My advice for the viewers that whatever problem you find yourself, don't run from God. Run to God. You will find your solution in the house of God. Yes, you will find your solution in the house of God. Therefore, don't run from God. Run to Him. Wow. Let's clap for Jesus Christ once again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because of time... I'll make sure I see you after the service. Uh -huh. Can we... Thank you. Let's have our comfort. Let's have our comfort.
Wow, you can see her crying. It's nothing but the tears of joy. But she know and she knew what God had what she was going through in the past. And she knows what God has removed from her body. She she's in the best position to explain. Let's hear from her. Elohim. Elohim. My name is Sarah Musa. I'm from Cardinal State. The problem that brought me to the service, I'm facing some challenges, disappointment, delay. I have a spirit of anger. Anytime, that, anytime somebody provokes me, I can pull naked and fight with that person. Until later, I will realize my mistake. I will start crying. So I was sick about two weeks ago. Then my landlord and I came and met me, Sarah, what are you taking? So I'm taking a bow for typhoid which I used to have high blood pressure. So he now talked to me that very, he said, Sarah, stop taking this Abba. Please, tomorrow I'm going to church. Please join me so that I can go. The man of God can pray for you. So that very day I came. I don't know what happened when the man of God was laying hand for praying. Immediately that he laid hand on me, I don't know what happened and I fell into a mountain, started manifesting. I don't know what happened until later. I told him that man of God delivered me and said I have a spirit of vulture that is disturbing me. Do that after the deliverance. That very day, that night, after the man of God lay hand on me, that night I didn't feel any pains or anything. I thank God. I see the finger of God in this church. God has delivered me. God has shown me mercy. You know, there was a message that says your head was that of virtue. Each time this trouble comes, you see yourself, you know, you know, explain. I'm not there with you. Yes, I'm sir. Hold on. I'm telling you what God showed to me. Yes. Explain better. The energy and that spirit that entered me, I just started misbehaving. Having that spirit of anger to feel like to remove my clothes. I used to pull my clothes and fight. Most of my colleagues, the person. No, no, that is the result of the that virtual. Eh? Explain how your head normally feel. One, you have chronic headache. That's part of the sign. And you see yourself moving your neck uncontrollably. You should explain. Yes, I used to feel my head sometimes. I used to be sometimes be hitting my head like this. I don't know what happened. Is it half a dandruff or what? I started feeling stretching my head like this. But since that deliverance, I didn't feel anything again. Clap for Jesus Christ. This to let you know that when you come to Jesus Christ, He will give you a new heart, a new head, a new leg. If, in fact, in His storehouse in heaven, He has all human parts. But <laughs> can you imagine? This is the first time I could see that speaker. Speaker. <coughs> Speaker speaks. Yeah? I mean, uh, are they dancing or what? Yes, so that is it. Jesus has all parts of the body. He will give you free of charge. Just meet him at the right time. Okay? So, now, let's hear from, before, before we hear from your brother, tell us what word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? Another testimony. Um, so oh, another testimony? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. On Monday, I'm about to go to um, work. So early in the morning, before I go out, my landlord's wife now gave me this uh, money due as she applied. And it's I'm going out. So immediately when I applied this money due, and I fell into anointing, only me inside the room. So, and I fell into anointing. Another testimony. Before that deliverance, I used to have disappointment delay. So yesterday in the night, after one of the media department now called me, say, Sarah, please, are you sure you are coming tomorrow for this morning service? I say yes. So one of my friends now called me. Now says, are you sleeping? I say yes. He now says, Sarah, please, today is it Easter Sunday. I called my people that today I want to introduce you to my family. And I say today I'm coming to the church. There's no way I can communicate with them, which them block my night. And after maybe next week, I will try to see the family. Ah, 
I didn't even listen. That's a good testimony. That's what we're praying for. Somebody is on the line now. Person that called me yesterday, I should come that he wants to introduce me to his family. Actually, he talked, but I thought maybe I'm just staying. But now it has come. Yes, sir, by the special grace of God. By the special grace of God. Thank God. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we're praying for. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, finally, what word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? Viewers all over the world, I want to appreciate God. In whichever that anyone that has a problem, challenges like this, run to this church because I see the finger of God in this church. God has done it for me. And I pray to the man of God, let the almighty God to be empower you, to give you the, the fresh anointing. I don't have anything to give. And I return all the glory, Father, I thank you for your mercy, for your deliverance, Father. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, you Jesus. You will not understand what she's doing because you did not experience her problem. If you're in her shoes, you will, know, you, will do, you will do better than this. She knows what she experienced in the past. She can see the difference in her body and the result of the deliverance. It's the result. So that's why she just wants to appreciate God. Yes, point of correction. Not only here you have a living church. Living churches are everywhere, but Ask God to give you grace to find them. Once you locate them, go there, worship with them, and maintain your salvation there. Simple. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, let's hear from your uncle. Elohim, my name is Oshose Ismecha. I'm happy to be here this morning. The lady beside me is my neighbor, she's my neighbor. Ever since I, I know her, she always complained. From some, all the time, since several times she have, have uh, seen her, her body peel. If I ask her what happened, she, would, she, would, she told me then that um, she, she got accident. Sometime last day I invited her to the church she promised to come, but uh, I don't know what happened. She didn't make it. But I thank God the uh, last two weeks, when I went to where she's living, I saw her drinking this harbor, harbor drug. I said, what is happening? What is wrong with you? She started complaining again. And I told her to, please, she should try and come to church with me. I was even thinking that she wouldn't uh, just as normally... She always promised, and uh, she, she don't keep to her promise. I was surprised that I went uh, that morning. She was the one that ever came to my, to my place. Then uh, we came to church together. And uh, to the glory of God, God used the wise man to, to deliver her from her troubles. And ever, ever since her deliverance came, I've never seen her complain again. She, she's always happy. That's it. Thank you. And uh, what advice do you have for all? Uh, my advice to the world is, please, Jesus is free. Come and experience the touch from Jesus. Hallelujah. Come and experience the touch from Jesus, and your life will not remain the same. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Cette femme avait un esprit de colère. Et quand l'esprit entrait, elle aurait envie d'enlever ses vêtements et elle souffrait aussi de maux de tête chroniques. À cause de ça, son frère dit qu'elle se plaignait toujours. Alors dimanche dernier, elle a reçu sa délivrance et l'homme de Dieu a prié pour elle. Après sa délivrance, elle est guérie des maux de tête et de son esprit de colère pour la gloire de Dieu. Son avis pour nous, elle nous dit de ne pas fuir Dieu, mais de courir vers lui. Okay, let's listen to another testimony. The reason why we're bringing this testimony to your view so that your heart will be ready for what you're about to receive. And your heart will say, oh, if God can do this for these people, mine will not escape the anointing today. Our mindset attracts us to the glory of God, to his healing, to his deliverance, to his breakthrough. Whatever you meditate in your heart will happen immediately. So therefore, shall listen to these testimonies. Claim what God has done for them and get prepared for yours as well. That's how to be connected to the things of God. 
Uh-huh. Elohim. My name is Kingsley Melete. I'm from Imo State, Nigeria. Reside in Abuja. Um, in 2017, I was feeling funny. I went to the hospital for a checkup. After the number of tests that was carried out, um, I met the doctor. The doctor said, I'm okay, but there is a problem. I said, what's the problem again? He said, my sugar level is very high. And before then, I've been experiencing weakness. Of the, I've been experiencing weakness. I woke up in the morning. I'll be very weak. Throughout that day, um, my activities, I can't really carry out all my activities you know, for that day. I have blonde, blonde vision and so many. So after they took the test, in uh, 2018, I had a... Um, so I was placed, I was placed, 2007, I was placed in a, the insulin injections for weeks to bring down the sugar level. After two weeks, I was not, asked, I was not placed on a particular tablet. So I was taking that tablet for a while. But each time I take that tablet, after two weeks, the tablet was not effective again. It was, uh, the tablet was not changed. And the milligram, you know, um, Increase. Then um, the sugar level then was about 600, 600 milligram. Then it came down to 300 plus here in 2018. Then 2018, I had to travel to China. On my trip to China, I was very. It was very difficult for me to eat. I was living on liquids, you know, water and all that. So I came back and uh, went back to the hospital. The drug was as changed again. Then in, um, in 2000, uh, 2018, there about, yeah, 2018, I had a crisis that uh, took me back to the hospital. I was placed on uh, insulin injections. For, for weeks. So it has always been changing drugs from one drug to another. After I use a particular drug for, for some time, it becomes uh, ineffective and they keep changing drugs for me. The other challenge I had was if I travel out, if I go anywhere and uh, my, I run out of, out of my drugs, I can't really find that exact drugs. And if I go to a pharmacy, they give me something that is, they tell me that this is almost the same thing. It doesn't work for me. So I have to go back to the same hospital to get the same drug to continue. Okay, okay. to cut the long story short, can you just tell us what happened? All right, um, last year, because all the while I've been trying, to, I told myself I don't want to live, you know, live, live by drugs. Um, I was planning to go to um, synagogue, but I wrote to them, you know, I never get invitation. Then when I heard that was my Daniel was coming to Abuja, so I started attending service here. Then he gave us um, this dew from heaven. So I started applying this dew from heaven, continue using the dew from heaven and the prayer points. After, after like, a, like two weeks, I took a step of faith and I stopped taking the drugs. After two weeks, I stopped taking the drugs. I discovered I was not, um, everything was normal, even without the drugs. Unlike before, I can't stay without the drugs. Then I was placed in a um, diet. Hold on, hold on. Let me make a point of correction. You know, when you say synagogue, you're talking about the foundation of my spiritual activities. <laughs> Please. Not that you are denying invitation. You know, the fact is, when the job is so much, they are human beings. Maybe when somebody is dozing on the chair, your invitation, your request came. Before you know it, they will pass it by. So therefore, that was not me, they did not give invitation. Please, okay? Uh -huh. Maybe and sometimes they will ask you to wait. They will attend to you when people are so many. I worked in the email department as well when I was there. The fact is, 
it's always first come, first served. There's no preferential treatment. First come, first served. Okay? So therefore, the fact that you could not get what you want at that time does not mean you were denying it. God's time is the best. Huh? Thank you. So now, <clears throat> what can you say about this dew from heaven? Well, um, this dew from heaven, from many testimony we have had and I have experienced it, I can only give it one word. It's a ballistic missile. It can heal. That's, you don't need, just with faith, apply it and you'll see God step into your situation. What's inside? If you give me the water you drink, I touch it by the grace of God, it will become this. What's inside is just the grace of God. It's the grace of God that makes it different from the one you have. If you have the same grace God gave to his people, whatever they touch has been touched in heaven. So each time you hold that thing, they have been touched in heaven. And whatever you, whatever you want it to do for you, they will sanction it above. That's the lifestyle. Just like that apron, the glory of Apostle Paul is there. Just say, God of Apostle Paul, I'm here in your name. Do this. Instantly. You feel, just like the woman, Mary, the glory of Apostle Paul descended on her. She left. When she got to the neck collar woman, the woman received her healing. So if that glory does not possess you, you cannot accomplish the task. The moment the glory possessed her, she fell on the floor. You could see it. So that is it. So from there, we all need it. Everybody will need it because of what is happening in this world. The only thing Satan fear is the grace of God. That was why Job case was so difficult for Satan to, to deal with. Not until he went to God to take for permission, to, to seek for permission. Satan had tried, before Satan could go to God and say, God, allow me. Allow me means I cannot do it without your grace. What a blessed life for God, for Satan to always ask God about you. If God permits you, fine. If God does not permit you, you cannot do anything. He had tried to go on his own way. He had to go to God. And God said, I remove my grace from every other thing he possessed. Except his soul. Thou shalt not deal with his soul. That's God for you. So God it can happen to you. So ah. So I took that step, stopped taking the drugs, and um, weeks later I decided to take uh, all the because I've, I've been placed on diet. There are certain things I can't eat, and those are things I I like to eat. So I now have to go back to them and start eating those things. And I discover nothing happened. Ah. So in January, I went back to the hospital. I told the doctor, I want to run a test. Let me know my was let me know what's happening. So I ran that test, came back to him, and he, he looked at me. He now said, But you're okay. I said, No, I've not been taking the drugs for the past four months. He said, how can that be possible? I said, yes, for the past four months, I've not been taking the drugs. He looked at the, at the test again. You mean you've not been taking the drugs and your, your blood level, is, your blood sugar is down? I said, yes. He said, what did you do? And I explained to him. He now said, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. It's working for you. Thank you. Okay, give him the mic, let him explain. No, just come this way so that you don't back the camera. Okay. Okay. Here you can see um, the sugar level here was about 321. That was in, um, in 2018. Here in 2002, it came down at uh, 128, 128.5. So this was after, uh, after I applied the dew from heaven, I went back to the doctor and he told me that, that I'm perfect. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. So thank you very much. Because of time, thank you. He has been advice already. Have you been advice? 
Okay. Yeah, my advice to the world and the people here, uh, like we always say, like it's always said that when you have a problem, don't run from God. Always go to Him. I I I don't believe. I never believe in drugs. Me for once, I never wanted to live my life in drugs. So I've always wanted God to take care of me. I've never wanted to take drugs. With this due, of, due from heaven, I can assure you, you can remain healthy all day round. So I, I, I advise that we, we take anything from, from any living um, house of God, take it very important, take it very, very serious with our life. I believe we'll, re uh, we'll be healthy in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you. Make sure I see you after the service. Yes, let's really have the last one. En 2017, cet homme dit qu'il s'est senti faible alors qu'il est allé à l'hôpital où on lui a diagnostiqué du diabète. L'année suivante, on lui a mis sous une injection d'insuline et son dosage de médicaments n'a cessé d'augmenter. L'année dernière, il a eu la chance de recevoir la rosée du ciel et des points de prière. Deux semaines plus tard, il a fait un pas de foi et a arrêté de prendre ses médicaments. Il est retourné à l'hôpital une année plus tard et le médecin a dit que sa glycémie était normale et il a repris son régime alimentaire pour la gloire de Dieu. Le conseil qu'il nous donne aujourd'hui est d'avoir la faim et d'utiliser la rosée du matin et que nous, nous voirons nos témoignages. Thank you. Uh, let's listen to another testimony. Elohim, people of God. Good morning, church. Um, my name is Primrose Oteng. I am from Botswana, and my testimony today is about um, the faith tools which I received from the man of God, which led to my subsequent breakthrough. Um, it all started around five years ago when I wanted to go farming. Um, I think we will all recall that apart from man of God, wise man Daniel, uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua, blessed memory, used to tell us all the time that it honors God and it honors man when we farm. So for the longest time, I was trying to start a farming project, um, but I was met with uh, countless frustrations. As an example, I had found a plot of land and I had spent tens of thousands of pula clearing it only to have somebody um, from my family claim that land um, for themselves and simply just take it. Um, so last year in September, I came to the prayer meeting for all nations. I was opportune to meet with the man of God and receive um, the faith tools from him, amongst which was uh, this dew from heaven. Um, after the meeting, I went back to Botswana and I continued to use the prayer points and I ministered uh, the dew from heaven every day um, while uh, praying with it. Lo and behold, uh, people of God, within a very short period of time, um, something that had taken me a very long time to identify land that I wanted, but also a seller who was willing to sell it to me within a short period of time, I was able to accomplish that. I, a, a process that had taken me years um, suddenly unraveled before me. Um, I was offered a piece of land very close to the road, um, which is what I wanted. The size was also good for me. It was bigger than I initially thought but I thought by the grace of God, I can accomplish it. Little by little, God also started sending me people, helpers, um, who were honest and who are experts in their field to help me. And through ministering the dew from heaven, I had energy and I had ideas and I was able to go the distance. I was able to make developments to the farm that um, otherwise may not have been possible. 
uh, the sheer scale and um, the speed with which everything happens made me believe that without the intervention of God, it would not have been possible. Glad for Jesus Christ. Uh, once again, tell us the expanse of the lands. The land is about uh, 7.1 hectares, which is around uh, just over 10 acres. Wow. Okay, what do you, what's the plantation on it? This is an avocado orchard. Um, so my plan is to plant um, avocados. You will see after I came here, I got a certificate of incorporation for the company, Joshua Avocado Farm. Um, we managed to drill a borehole, as I was saying. Uh, the borehole, the yield of the borehole is much larger than initially we were told. It's something like 5.5 um, cubic liters, almost double the amount of water that we were expecting. Wow. Um, we have uh, managed to till our land, as you can see from here. Here we have, with my partners or the people who help me, produced over 500 avocado seedlings of the Haas and Fuerte kind. Haas and Fuerte are the most commercially viable and popular avocados in the world. So we currently have over 500 seedlings and this number is growing and by the grace of God, I think we'll be the biggest suppliers in Botswana. Let's clap for Jesus Christ. Wow, Botswana is blessed. And that reminds me, can you imagine? Apart from that, another blessing has uh, come to Botswana. It is the will of God that comes September 9th and 10th, there must be revival there. So God is ushering me into Botswana come September, and uh, it's going to be glorious. 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 So finally, what word of advice do you have for all who are listening to you? My word of advice is um, to please take all of the faith tools, not just the morning water, but faith tools that are available um, seriously. The Bible teaches us that by our fruits, you will know us. And I surely believe that if you use these faith tools, you will see results in your life just as I have seen in mine. Amen. Thank you. She's not, she's not a selfish testifier. She said you also benefit the way she benefited. Beware of fraudsters viewers all over the world it has come to our attention that some fraudsters are going around requesting for funds from people who are too desperate and impatient to follow the right procedure in order to locate the right channel or the right source these fraudsters parade themselves as representatives of elohim ministry wise man daniel ministry or wise man daniel himself they are fake they are fraudsters Please do not fall for their tricks and tactics. Below are some of the fake YouTube channels and social media handles created by these fraudsters in order to deceive you, our viewers. are our official social media accounts and contact details. Our official YouTube channel is www.youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Wiseman Daniel Ministries. Our official Instagram handle is Wiseman underscore Daniel Ministries. Congratulations viewers all over the world. We are now on Facebook and on Twitter. Our official Facebook handle is facebook.com forward slash Wiseman Daniel Official. Our official Twitter handle is twitter.com forward slash WMD Ministries. Our TikTok handle is at Wise Men Daniel Ministries. Our official website addresses are www.elohimonline.org. www.christstandard.tv
Our official email addresses are info at elohimonline.org and info at ChristStandard.tv. These are our contact details and they are all available on WhatsApp. Our prayer request line is plus 234-902-147-0247. Our testimony line is plus 234-901-511-3002. Our inquiry lines are plus 234-704-094-5002. And plus 234-904-882-4874. Our partnership lines are plus 234-703-144-8611. And plus 234-906-141-4886. And do remember, all of these numbers are available on WhatsApp. Viewers all over the world, note that any other website addresses, social media handles or contact details apart from the ones we have listed above are not from Elohim Ministry, Wise Man Daniel Ministry, nor from Wise Man Daniel himself. God bless you. Elohim, God lives in us. John 14 verse 23.